bit of a British classic on the go today. We're going to do liver, bacon and onion gravy. I grew up on this stuff. When I was a little kid, I hated it so much. It was like my worst nightmare. But as I sort of got a bit older, I started to really love it. Now I just, I'm in love with it all the time. I really love this one. Serving this with boiled potatoes and carrots. Some people would use mash and peas. It's very, very tasty. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. So we're gonna get started by first making our gravy. What we have here is, I've got one large onion there, sliced. I'm using red, you can use any color you want. A tablespoon of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. Here I've got about two tablespoons of flour. We're probably not gonna use that. We're gonna eyeball that in a moment. I've got some stock here. I'm using a chicken stock. You could use a different stock if you wanted. I've got 400 ml or just under a pint. And then here I've got a little bit of sage. Sage is absolutely wonderful in this. Um, if you don't have sage, you can maybe use a little bit of rosemary or thyme. Something like that works really well. Let's get moving. So there's absolutely nothing to this. It's so easy. In here I've got some oil and I'm using an olive oil. We're going to get our onion and we're going to drop that in. Now I've just put the heat on medium. We're going to get the garlic in. That little bit of sage, salt and pepper. And for about four to five minutes, we're going to be just frying these onions around. Keep it moving. So get your onions to where you want them to be. Now, I like mine just like this. I've got a little bit of crunch still on them. If you want to cook them longer, go for it. Right, very simply, let's grab that flour. Couple of tablespoons. And we're just gonna work this in. And we're going to cook this flour. By the way, this is a plain wheat flour. You can use corn flour or corn starch, which is the same thing. What we're going to do is cook this out for about three minutes on this medium heat. The reason you need to cook it out, otherwise you're going to get a very floury tasting gravy, which you don't want. I'll be back in two minutes. Keep it moving all the time now. Okay, that's enough time to cook that flour taste out. Let's get our stock and add a little bit in. And mix. And you'll see it get really thick at this stage. Let's add some more. So I've put 200 ml in at the moment, so half the amount I had. Now you can just get it to the consistency that you like. Some people like it super thick. Some people like it a bit thinner. Yeah, it's still way too thick, isn't it? That's looking a bit more like it, but still a bit thick. So there you go, 400 ml in total. I've put the whole lot in. Now, cook this out. Turn the heat down to low now and go for about four minutes, stirring pretty much all the time. And then we've done this. This is beautiful. Fantastic. I love that consistency. If it's too thick for you, add a little bit more stock or water. Now, if you wanted, you could add a, no, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, depends how much you like it, of a nice English mustard, nice strong mustard. And it's this color because of the stock we've used. If you use a beef stock, it will be more of a brown color. Or if you wanted, you could add some browning. But that's done, off goes the heat. Let's move on. Okay, so the gravy's done. Let's take a look at our liver. Now I've got beef liver here, and I've got about 500 grams, which is just about a pound. Now, some people say that you should soak the liver in milk for a few hours, or even vinegar, or you don't have to do it at all. They say soaking it in milk gets rid of the bitterness from it. Uh, I generally just don't bother doing it. I find it okay, but you can do that if you want. What we're gonna do is cut it into thin slices. Let me do that. Okay, so liver. 
cut that into as thin slices. It's quite difficult to cut quite thin, but give it a go, get it nice and thin. And I'm going for the non-soaking way. So if you have soaked it in milk, you need to pat it dry, get it as dry as you can. So again, we've got some flour here. I've got like five tablespoons, probably way too much. We're gonna season that with some salt, some black pepper, and be you know generous with everything. And I'm gonna use some thyme. I've got some dried thyme here. You could put sage in again if you wanted. So a nice bit of seasoned flour. And then simply what we do is we take a piece of liver and we just coat it like that. And then set that aside and then we're gonna fry it all off once it's done. So let me do that. So I've got some oil here. I'm using a sunflower oil. If you wanted, you could use butter. Some people would use butter. Very simply, let's just drop this in. We're on an above medium heat. And this cooks really quickly. So we're just gonna go, it's just gonna be like three minutes aside max, I would think. Depends on how thin you've got it. Some of these are thicker than others. And I've got to do this in two batches. Yeah, three minutes aside, done. Okay, so the liver's done. We're gonna do our bacon now, but I'm gonna cook it in this same fat because it's got, or well, the same oil because it's got some lovely flavors in there. Now I've got some smoked backed bacon and I've cut it into pieces. You can put it in whole if you want, but yeah, I'm gonna go for the pieces. I find it a bit easier. And again, just cook your bacon how you want. Like some people like it super crispy. Some people like it, you know, much less than that. I get all this in, I think. And for this amount, I'm just going to go for, I think I've got four or five decent rashers of bacon here. One more bit in there. So yeah, I'm going to go, I'm probably going to go on a sort of medium heat. About five minutes maybe, I'll be flipping it quite often. But yeah, get it how you like. Okay, so I'm happy there. I like my bacon like that. Some people like it a little bit crispier. What I'm going to do is we're going to keep this pan, but I just want to reduce this oil down now. It's a bit too much. Yeah, a little bit too much oil in there. So reduce that down. Now what I'm gonna do is drop our liver back in. I'm gonna grab our gravy that I just covered over with some shrink wrap. And it's kind of congealed a little bit now, as you can see. And we're gonna get that in. Low heat, about five minutes. Let it all come together, it's gonna to be absolutely delicious. And that is beautiful. Okay, off goes the heat. Let's get that on a plate. Okay, and there you go. Now I'm serving mine with boiled potatoes and carrots. Some people like it with mashed potato and peas. Absolutely delicious. Bit of a classic that is, isn't it? Hope you enjoy that. I'll see you very soon. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.